Alexander the Great built an empire that stretched from the Balkans to India. He would have conquered more if not for his death at such a young age or would he? Also, I just created a second channel. This is all going to be about longer series where you can experience more of our character stories from their families to their rivals and each event together. So if you like the thought of that, consider subscribing. And here we have him. Starting in Babylon, we have Alexander the Great. We start, of course, at 32 years of age. Oh, I mean, you know, we're a pretty good character, but the problem is we do have to get so much land so i don't know if we're gonna get it in one life that would be the goal but i mean we do start as a vassal of the seljuk empire and they're insanely powerful so getting freedom or taking over his kingdom is gonna be very tough to do so what i'm gonna do because we're like 32 we do start with some martial perks i am gonna go down learning and i'm gonna aim for whole of body the longer we can live with this character i think it's just better for us all over so we're gonna aim to get that as soon as possible we're gonna pick up cast a spell i cost minus 50 percent we're also gonna get this because we want the heavy cavalry toughness and pursuit because if we go to our men at arms because we are greek we have eastern roman legacy so we can actually recruit the cataphract men at arms and these are just really really good armored horsemen as you can see they're much better they're quite expensive but if we can just get a full army of these i think we can defeat almost anyone there we go so we picked up this so we get more men at arms counter efficiency and especially this one so our siege weapons are more effective now i started as our capital as baghdad as of course the city of babylon isn't in the game so i think this is about right where it should be so this is where we're going to start today. And I think the next thing we should do is find a spouse. I would like some traits, to be honest. Maybe we look for traits rather than straight alliance power. Ooh, there's a robust strike here. Plus four prowess and a medium health boost. Yeah, we're going to go with her. Try and get robust to our sons. And in our capital, we have the House of Wisdom. Giving us more domain taxes, more development growth, and... The holder of this holding gets more learning per level of fame, more monthly learning lifestyle experience, different cultural opinion, culture fascination progress, and you can create faiths for cheaper. So that is going to be really, really, really useful for us. And my first challenge today, so we can try and get set up inside our liege's empire, is to create the kingdom of Mesopotamia. So that's got to be our first first challenge now we can start a dj ray war straight away with this guy although he may honestly beat us he does have some pretty good heavy infantry and right now we only have pikemen one stack of mangonels and four bowmen so i'm gonna wait out on that a bit i think we definitely need to build up our power a bit more before we think about going to war and our liege wants us to to be the marshal. I did also, if I can see, I modified the contract. I gave us this status so the liege can't demand our conversion and he also can't revoke our titles. And for that, I just gave him high levies. I think that's a pretty good, pretty good trade-off right there. And we've had our son and player here, Alexandros. So this is who we're going to be playing as next, it seems. Sadly, he didn't pick up the trait we wanted him to, but should be okay. And now we have the money. We're going to get our first regiment of these down once they're built. Then we go to war for that claim. So we're going to start a de jure war. All right, we're just going to raise all. We're going to command it ourselves, and we're going to try and defeat them early on in the war. We need to catch them off and not let them just run around sieging all our land. All right, we're going to catch them there, but then we're going to get attrition, so I'm not going to do that. I don't want to lose troops to that. We're just going to siege his capital straight away. Catch it. There we go. We capture his son straight away so we can enforce that and we've successfully taken our first county small step but i mean it's gonna take a while isn't it <laughs> got a lot to get okay so i just married off a courtier so now we can have her and she can hopefully get us a claim on a duchy so we're gonna start right down here and see if we can pick up a claim on this duchy right here and defeat him in battle for it there we go so we did increase our crown authority and three of my vassals have decided to stand up against me and attempt to bring it back down so we're gonna say i will not be threatened. I don't know how well this is going to go. What we could maybe do is marry off our daughter just for an alliance. So we can marry her to him. That's going to give us 4,000 troops we can call to a war if we need. But I am hoping we can win this without their help. We need to just catch them all off and not let them join up. Right, there's 2,200 of them there. So we're going to march in. It's saying we're going to win. 
And of course, like always, if you want the list of mods I'm using, it will all be in the description below. Here we go. We sieged their capital and captured someone so we can end that. Let's see. We're going to check our prison and a lot of them are of different faith. So with these, we're just going to revoke their titles. That's probably the easiest thing to do here so we can get all our vassals of our faith. And none of them really like me. They all absolutely hate me. So there's no point just demanding their conversion because they'll probably still be a pain. Okay, we ransomed off all the prisoners we just had as well. And we now can increase our cataphracts to size two. There we go. And we just picked up a claim on the full duchy. It is going to cost us 175. What we're going to have to do, I think, is, yeah, we're going to have to use it on you because you actually have the duchy title. Take the rest of your land once our truce ends and then go for these guys. So we're also going to try and create a claim on this other duchy over here as well. Okay, so we do have two sons. We had another one that was just born. We're going to pick up restraint and then we're going to embrace celibacy just so we don't end up getting a ton of sons that just ruins any chance of inheritance. Okay, so we're out of death. Debt and our truce is now over. We're going to declare war for our claims and take all of his land in one quick war. Hopefully, we're able to win. I believe we should have no problem. We're just going to go straight for sieging. We can siege almost two counties in the time he's still sieging one and he's given up. So here we go. Now, he is a vassal, so that could cause some problems, but he is pretty good at diplomacy. So we'll make him our diplomat. Ooh, our liege is offering us the position of spy master. He must have taken me off being his marshal, but you know what? We'll take us position if we're gonna get one i mean we could now murder our le not really never mind then i thought we'd have a good chance it's only 19 percent. maybe at some point could murder them it could be something worth doing for sure there we go we just picked up a claim now on another duchy we're super in debt but our army is fully built up so we'll get out of debt soon and declare war straight away for that okay now it's showing we can go for our claims. I don't know if this is correct, but if we go to declare war, it's saying our claims is all of it. Not only there, I don't know if that's right. You know what? We're going to try it. And he does have quite a decent ally right here. He's going to bring 1,600 men. So we're going to call our strong ally. We're just going to get in there straight away. Yeah, it looks like we're going to get all his land in one war. And I want to see, maybe we'll be able to create the kingdom title then. Yes, we will. So let's hope we actually win this. We're going to try and defeat his army straight away before his allies can come join him, even though his allies are really close. There we go. We caught them there nice and easy. We got a slight advantage of 10%. And we're now going to start sieging some of the wall target and hope our allies hurry up. There they are. So we're going to go defeat their armies again with our allies' support. And there we go. Just like that, we can enforce demands and our land has just expanded by quite a lot. We do have some vassals who don't really like us. We'll try and demand their conversion. And only one of them did a set. We do have a dangerous faction now on our hands. And they are pushing their demands. So we're going to say, I will not be threatened. And I think we can handle this. We're going to raise our troops right in the middle of these two people. We're going to try and defeat their armies early as well. It's close, but uh, you know what? It's saying it's close. We're just going to go siege. Maybe we'll get a nice capture. I don't know. Okay, and our allies have arrived. So we're going to march in now for the fight. And we're also going to now revoke these guys' titles because a lot of them are just of a different faith. If we can just revoke them and start fresh, our realm's going to be so much more secure for it. Now, we can't revoke this guy's because we have a truce. So we're just going to let him go, but we are going to demand his conversion. Ooh, and our liege is now offering us to be the steward. Uh, Yes, we're up to 9.7 gold per month now, which is really lucky as we do need to get that kingdom title as soon as possible. There we go. And we have now picked up whole of body. I'm going to move into stewardship. I'm going to pick up golden obligations and just try and get as much money as I can. So now we're going to get our spy master to find secrets. And I reckon, you know what? We go over into the Byzantine Empire. And we also now have enough money to create the kingdom of Mesopotamia. And the court over on this side of the world, they're just so nice compared to anywhere in Europe. In Europe, they're like dusty shacks. You come over here and they're like palaces. <laughs> the difference is insane. Oh, and because we actually are now a king, our liege wants to grant us some vassals. I mean, we're going to say yes to them all. They may try and overthrow us, which could be a problem. But look at our kingdom now. It's actually pretty big. So I think at this point, we really have to focus now on just building up our military. Get a decent military strength. So we can either maybe even overthrow our liege at some point. Yeah, here they come. Look, they are trying to overthrow me. Oh, well, they're trying to get lower crown authority. We are making good money. So I'm just going to keep trying to build these when we can afford a new stack of them. Anything that can help us face off against these guys. But here they are. They've started the war. That is four vassals. Some of them are 
are very, very powerful. The most powerful, though, is this guy. So we're going to raise all right next to his capital. And we're going to try and defeat all his armies quick. But we're going to have to run. They have so many men. We are calling all our allies, but they're going to take a while to get you. So we can, if we can just at least avoid getting defeated in battle, uh, that's probably for the best. If we can just run away. No, they have caught us. That's really unlucky. Uh-oh. And they slaughtered us. We only have 35 survivors from that battle. Excuse me, what? How did they kill so many of us? Their army must be insane. Uh, okay, yeah, we lost. So that was just for lower crown authority. So it's not the end of the world, but that is really, really unlucky. Wait, I just got a notification. You are now independent. What the hell just happened? Wait, what? I don't know what happened. I assume there was a faction that just triggered. So yeah, we are now actually completely independent, which is actually not great for us as it's going to take longer to get the land now as we can't just claim our lieges title. So yeah, that is that's great news. But I think we're going to focus the rest of Alexander's life in building up our military. So anytime we get enough money, just get another unit of men at arms down, try and build a really powerful army. And then we can hopefully sweep through all of this land, take all this. And by the time we get that, we'll be really, really powerful. Okay, so we just became illustrious. So that means we now have access to declare war and actually conquer full duchies. But that's going to be really helpful as I think it's time now we just start picking up all of this land in the center, build that up, and then hopefully we can kind of take on the Byzantine Empire and stuff like that. So I'm going to pick up this duchy now first. Just just hope it goes well. And we're going to try and defeat his armies really early before his allies come and get involved. Oh my god, I full-on panicked then. I thought that was my firstborn son who was my proper age, just died. But no, it was the other one. It still sucks, but you know, it's, it's not the end of the world. There we go. We just took his capital, so we now can enforce demands on that war. Problem is, yeah, very unhappy vassals. We'll try and demand their conversion. Probably not going to go well, but we'll see. Okay, so while I was waiting for that truce to end, they just did some smaller wars against some of the counties. So we've expanded did a little bit, not not loads, to be honest with you. But we can now declare war for another duchy against that guy. I did almost declare war against this person. Then I realized, no, that's not just a single count. That is probably the single strongest person in this area. Where's well, a county right by there? So we're probably not going to go for that just yet, <laughs> to be honest. But we are going to go for this duchy straight away. There we go. We defeated his army straight away. We are going to siege his capital. And there we have it. Just like that, we have taken another duchy. But as you can see, we do have some factions forming but if we take a look none of them are really much trouble we got this one but every time we get money we're building up these horsemen so they're six out of ten now we can just wreck so much people with them like <laughs> it's not even fair sometimes okay so we just extorted subjects so now these are 10 out of 10 so we've got 500 of these amazing horsemen and i think it is time we start really really looking to expand seems this county is now independent though which is good and we just picked up infirm so we're probably going to be dead honestly pretty soon we are now though we're 80, to be fair. We've lived a pretty long life. We have taken quite a lot of land, so it's not all too bad. Problem is, you might see this guy and be like, oh, look, he only has 3,000 men. Yeah, and then almost 10,000 in allies' military strength. Like, some of these people are ridiculously strong just because of their allies, which is going to make things very tough, and we're going to have to you know, wait for the right opportunity to come up to actually declare those wars. But we can do a nice duchy claim right there. So we're going to do that. And there we have it. Another duchy taken. And that time, quite a big duchy. So that is quite a lot of land for us. We're 83. We're still kicking about somehow. Genuinely thought this guy would have died by now. But but you know what? He seems to be determined. <laughs> okay, now I think we're in the perfect position to take on these duchies. So we're going to check their power. I think we can defeat this guy. Conquer duchy. And we go for it. Now, the troop strength seems pretty similar on both of our sides, but if we can get there quick enough, cut him off from his allies. Hmm, well, that, that, didn't, that didn't go to plan. Right, they are now starving, so what we can do, we've taken their capital. If we hold out for a little bit, let them starve. They're starving, but also regaining troops. Nice. Right, now we just gotta go for them. Oh, that was so close. I sent one in by accident on their own, my weaker army, and uh, our second unit literally got there just in time to crawl that back. Oh my god. Right, that was so so lucky. Now I think we're good to just win. Here we go, 100%. But that was a lot 
tougher. If we could split them off at the start like we tried, we could have won much easier. But, you know, not everything goes to plan now. We're in severe debt. We're just going to extort subjects, force them to give me money. You know what? Tyranny, I don't care. I need money. Uh-oh, right. <laughs> So we just uh, win a war for another duchy, and I think our time is coming. We're 91 years of age, so, you know, we, we, we've lived well. But as you can see, we are now at death's doorstep. And there we have it. Alexander the Great lived until he was 92 years of age, and now his 58-year-old son takes over the throne. So I was just looking around and thinking about what our next move could be. But if we look over here, we could swear fealty on low obligations. So we're barely paying anything. So if we do that, then we're going to modify contract, give him high levies, and we're going to want title revocation. So he can't revoke our titles. Now, he can demand our conversion. That's where things may get a little bit tricky. So yeah, now the empire is massive. He wants us to be the steward though that's really really good as we we are desperately in need of money okay so the emperor was overthrown but they are offering us to be the liege again so i'm happy with that what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head down the stewardship tree and we're gonna pick up meritocracy this of course allows us to scheme to claim our liege's throne so if we can get a claim there's a chance we could overthrow him of course we are 63 so you know it's not perfect we're kind of old older than i'd like to be anyway at this point okay now that we've picked up the perk we can start a scheme to claim throne i don't know if we're gonna have any luck overthrowing him but we've we've at least got to try so we're gonna try our best see how it goes my wife did just die as well so i'm probably gonna marry myself off for an alliance well i think we're already allied to anybody worth allying so we're just gonna marry for stewardship bonus to get as much money as we can ready for a war chest oh and we just got a murder secret on this guy which is nice because we're gonna start using this as well as another way to just get money ready for our war which hopefully does happen soon and hopefully we win but you know anything could go wrong like us dying 90 percent chance and we got the pressed claim now his power is up to 16,000. it's mostly levies but the claim is a pressed claim so it will pass on to our children so even if we don't do the war this life it will still be passed on so that is a good thing like us dying and there we have it Alexandros of Mesopotamia has died at 70. So we are now his oldest son, which is not great. I don't want to keep dying. This guy is he's 49. He hasn't had a child yet. So we're going to start seducing. We should try and have children very soon. We're going to have to go down stewardship and just try and get money because we need to support a big army. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to give him high levies, but we are going to demand council rights. So now we can, anytime we want, we can demand council position. I'm going to be a steward for now. We're up to seven gold a month. So we're making so much money now that we can just keep building this army up. And we have had our son and heir and he's got hail and quick. That's not bad. Okay, so I just changed council positions to become my liege's spy master, as you can see, because we are going to try and murder him. Yes, and we should have pretty good odds now in actually getting him murdered. We could even just invite someone for that extra boost. So we can invite you. 60 gold, 95% chance. Just hope it doesn't get discovered now. And once he dies, their power should absolutely just get destroyed. And maybe we can take our claim, try and take the whole empire. Or what we'll actually probably do, because it's cheaper, is we're going to start a claimant faction for our claim. And then we can press that for free so we're not spending 700 odd prestige. Now, I know in real life, he didn't actually have like Thrace and that, right? So we're going to get slightly more land than Alexander did over this direction anyway. But I think this is still our best way to get it done. Rather than just doing Dutchy Wall, Dutchy Wall, Dutchy Wall, Dutchy Wall. Do you know what I mean? At least this way, we can get a massive chunk of land if things do go well. Okay, the chance has gone down to only a 55% chance, which is not great. I don't know why it's so low. We are his spy master, so I was hoping it should have been higher. Let's try it. Okay, we're going to try again. We really need this to happen. We might even have to invite more people just to make sure a kid takes over. Oh my god, finally, he actually died. Still a tough war, to be honest. We can marry our son away. What we're going to do is we are going to push our claim. We're going to press demands and just hope we can best the Byzantine emperor, I guess. Wait, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. They accepted? We're now the emperor. Oh my god. Why would they accept that? We had like, I don't know, like 80% or something. We can take the decision to reclaim Constantinople. 
Uh, sure. Okay, that's a nice, easy decision. That is now our capital. We're making 42 gold a month. 42. That is insane. We're not getting any benefits from this building just because we're not the right faith, but that is fine. I can't believe they just accepted that. Why? I am shocked. Like, I am actually shocked. Okay, I'm... Um, wow, okay. I was prepared to have a really, really tough war then, but they were like, yeah, you know what? Fair enough. Yeah, you take it. <laughs> we're going to break this betrothal. I'm sure we can find a better marriage for our son now. No. All right, fair enough. Guess not. Now we're making so much money, we have to really focus on building up our army so much that these factions rising don't have enough power to actually push their claims. But we are making so much money. I'm actually not too worried about that. We can build a really, really scary army now where no faction can just come close to our power. Okay, so I just demanded the conversion of every single vassal. <laughs> I imagine most of them are going to say no. We're probably not going to live too much longer, so I'll just give Hooks away for now, to be honest, if we have to, just to try and bite down on these factions that are going to form. Okay, so after that, actually, a lot of people actually decided, yeah, to convert. So that's not too bad. And here we have the one faction that is actually powerful enough to challenge me. What we're going to do, we're going to call our allies straight away, right? Beg them for help. I think we can win. It's just, it is going to be tough, though. What we're going to do is we're going to raise quite close to their main army and we're going to try and defeat them really early on. If we can catch them out, that would be great. Oh, come on, as long as we're a bit quicker. Are we going to catch them? Yes, nice. Now, these levies need to hurry up as well to come give us a hand. Right, we've done some siege, and what we're going to do now is we're going to march over there together, hopefully before we start taking any major attrition. Oh, it invalidated. Well, that was very anticlimactic. I was hoping to actually get some easy imprisonment there, but I guess not. Okay, so we died once again, and we're now 17-year-old Sebastianos. And I'm going to be honest, he's not exactly a great character. Like, he's he's terrible, if anything. Just being honest with you. Okay, so now that we are illustrious, I think it's time we start doing these big duchy wars against Persia and the Fatimid empires. So, let's see what we're going to do first. I think we go for Persia first. I think we take this duchy right here. So, this is going to be our toughest war yet. Hopefully, we can succeed. Oh, that was unlucky. I was just five-speeding to get our units in there, and our men-at-arms have been caught out by a much, much larger army, but actually, it looks like they're gonna win. Yeah, okay, fantastic. I thought they were about to get destroyed. Okay, we did manage to get that. It was a lot of back and forth. As you can see, it did take four whole years, but we didn't lose a single battle, I don't think, so things went really well for us. We got a faction, but our army will now rebuild, and the faction will just disappear because we're just too powerful for them. Let's now we ransom off all our prisoners. We're up to 650 gold. Our army can basically be rebuilt and that faction is not a problem. We can found the Holy Order. You know what? I'm going to do it. We already have one. I don't know where they came from, but I think Holy Orders are going to be really good for us now to start doing. Now, the other target we do need to take some land off is the Fatimid Empire. Now, it is unlucky we can only do duchies as it'd be great if we could take more. We're going to start a war and we're going to take this one. It's more central of his land, so it may be a little bit tougher to do, but it is really important that we do get it. So, so yeah, they're true are actually coming to our north. So we're going to march over there and we're going to jump in, hopefully catch them all out one by one. Yeah, there we go. That's fantastic. Because they were coming in their own little unit. We really, really took advantage of that there. Okay, we've seized a good chunk of the war target and they are returning. We are taking crazy attrition. What I'm going to try and do is try and defeat them one more time. And if we defeat them, then we need to spread out, fix our terrible attrition and just kind of defend the war target now. We got most of it, not all. Okay, most of our supplies are are fixed. So we're going to head back down and stop them unseaging, hopefully. Here we are. Perfect. Now we've got one more thing to siege. I'm going to send every single unit onto that. And now we've got ticking war score. We can enforce demands just like that. So we have taken a nice bit of his land as well now. Oh, and we actually have this guy in our prison. So we're going to demand his conversion. Let him go. And just like that, we have a Hellenic ruler on that new throne. Okay, finally, our truce has ended with the Seljuks. So, it is time, I think, to go for another duchy. What do we want, though, you know? Kind of pick whatever we want. But I think that one would be the most 
sensible target there, to be honest with you. What we're going to do is we're going to jump on the wall target and we're going to send a lot of our levies just around us for support. So if we do get attacked, we have like backup everywhere. Like, yeah, they're attacking now, but our men at arms can easily defeat all these. Okay, so we've sieged a lot of their land. And now what we're going to do is we're going to try and cut them off and do a massive battle that can hopefully give us a lot of war score. We've got people coming in from every direction. Sadly, our levies are there first. They seem to be winning, though, actually. Yeah, why have we got such an advantage? I think we just have a... Re this guy's a really good commander, I think. And that really... I mean, it literally allowed us to win that with our levies. I was not expecting that. There we go. 100%. We was in the middle of a battle, but I mean, if we're going to get a quick victory, you know what? I'll definitely bloody take it. Like, now my character is only 42 years of age. So I think as long as we don't just get murdered, which, you know maybe will happen. I think we could do this in this life and get everything wrapped up. There's just a few more walls we could do. I wish. I think if we were reformed, we'd be able to do kingdom holy walls, but there's so much piety we'll need. I don't see us getting it in this character's life, which is disappointing as we could just do kingdom war and take so much more. And nice. We have just picked up whole of body. So that should give us now the extra few years that we really need. Now for our next war against the Fatimids. We're going to go for this duchy right here. It's a quite a good developed duchy. And now with the land we already have, we can literally raise our troops right next to them. And they've raised 5,000 right there. We're going to march our men at arms in there. And they're just going to completely slaughter them. Look at that. They had five survivors. Yes, five. That was brutal. Problem is, there is 19,000 of them right there. What we're going to do is we can't hire a holy order. You know what? We're going to force hire them and march them into there as well. We've got our levies marching up, but I don't know if they're going to be quick enough. If they all get there quick... No. Oh my god. Now they're all just pouring in on their own. Yeah, that is very, very bad for us. Unless these men at arms can get back in the same war. Yes. Oh my god. We actually didn't lose that battle. We dragged it on so long our men at arms were able to return to the same battle they lost at. That is just insane. Fantastic. We took his capital and we actually captured him. So that is giving us a nice easy way now out of that war. And there's some sort of faction now going on over there, but it's not coming for me, so I actually don't care, to be honest. And we've just got the innovation for more men at arms, so we can get an even better army. So this, this army is just going to be broken, I'm not going to lie. It's going to be ridiculous to the point where we can probably just use our men at arms and defeat almost anyone. Like it's almost at that level now. Okay, so we have just fully upgraded all our cataphracts to 14 out of 14. So there's 700 of them in each one. So yeah, they are insane. We have 31,000 men. 25,000 of that are levies. But what? The other 6,000 are insane. So our truce should be up now. He does have quite a lot of allies. Ooh, maybe a bit too many allies. Ooh, yeah, he's got two giant allies. Well, that's not great, but I still think we can beat them. So we're going to declare war. We're going to conquer Duchy. And I don't care if he has all the allies in the world. We're going to try. We're going to go for this one right in the middle. It's not a massive Duchy, but I think that should be a good next target for us. We're going to send our men at arms in straight away to siege. Uh, the they're going to need backup, though, because they're being attacked. Are they not going to attack? No. We're going to send our levies, though, over there quick. Yeah, they are attacking now. As our men at arms... They? No. Okay, never mind. Our men at arms are insane. They actually just defeated... I think I was 19,000, was it? No, 13,000. And they only left with 7,000 survivors. And we only lost 500 men. Right, we're going to start another massive battle. We have sieged the whole war target, and they're all just standing around down the south. So we're just marching everybody in, and they've all started going in as well. So there we go. You know what? We're going to go for his capital. Why not? Might get a nice capture to wrap things up. Nope. But we are up 73% now. So that's pretty good. And there we go. 100% on that wall right by there. Okay. So we just smashed the Fatimids in another wall. They, like, they didn't do a single thing. They were, they were just destroyed by our men at arms. Uh, we actually took Jerusalem in that war. And you know what? I know we still need to like connect the lands here. And I think we need to take like a bit a bit more, a bit lower like there off the Seljuks to actually fully reclaim Alexander the Great's proper land. But at this point, nobody can stop us. Our men at arms are just insane. Uh, it's just going to be Dutchy war, Dutchy war, Dutchy war. And it's just going to go on forever. We've basically completed it. We have most of his lands. We need to just get like a line here. And like I said, another section by there. About there-ish. Basically, take the Seljuk's land is what we would need to do. And it's just going to take forever because... 
if we look, she's are so small. I have to wait for the truce. Uh, it's just one of those things where nobody's going to defeat us anyway. But of course, like always, I'm going to end the video with a massive thank you to all the channel members. We have Intermio1, Victor Voss Anderson, Toxic Flame, and Mikey Louie. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.